Last week, Judge Gergel mentioned considering an upward variance in Murdoch's sentencing, and it seems that's exactly what he's done. As he said, this verdict we make today, we make for the United States, we make for this court, we make in the interests of justice. This is Legal Updates with Cassidy. 1111 Make a Wish. Alex Murdoch sentenced to 40 years, 10 more than requested. Welcome. The morning started with Alex entering the courtroom at 9.48, shackled, surrounded by security, and in his orange jumpsuit, as we saw him at his state sentencing hearing. Some points of note were that federal prosecution withdrew their recommendation for sentencing, and defense withdrew their motion for the polygraph data that we spoke about yesterday. Shortly before his sentence, Alex was given the opportunity to address the court. He faced the judge and claimed to take responsibility for his crimes, but couldn't resist blaming his heavy opioid use and addiction as a key factor in his thefts. He went on, I want you to know, and I want the victims to know, I am filled with sorrow. I am filled with remorse. I am filled with guilt. I am very committed to trying to be a better person. Apparently, he played it up better at this hearing than at his state sentencing hearing, adding, Judge, I know there's not enough time, and I don't possess sufficient vocabulary to express to you in words the magnitude of what I feel about what I did. As you pointed out for a long period of time, I literally am filled with sorrow, and I am filled with guilt. He should have stopped there, but he didn't. He continued, One of the reasons that my addiction grew to the extremes that it did is that I was using opiates to hide from the things I was doing to people that I cared about. I hope... I hope, with every cell of my existence, I hope that I would not have done the things I did had I not been addicted to opiates. Next, it was the federal prosecution's turn to speak. They say that $6 million is still unaccounted for, that the plea agreement that Alex was required to cooperate fully with and provide information about all his criminal activities, not just the crimes he was charged with, was not fulfilled because when asked where any hidden assets or hidden funds could be, Alex answered it was all spent on drugs, but the polygraph indicated deception. They said they don't believe that drug use was the reason he committed those schemes, and they don't believe that's how he spent over six million dollars. They believe that Alex is incapable of being a law-abiding citizen. They said he had more than 25 victims, and that number does not account for the countless family members and loved ones impacted by these crimes. They continue that while Jim Griffin argues that he's been held accountable, there are 11 victims who were not subject to state convictions, and about 1.3 million in additional loss is attributable to Mr. Murdoch. Prosecutors requested the court impose a concurrent sentence of 30 years. Judge Gergel appeared not to buy it any more than we or federal prosecution did when he said no truly impaired person could pull off these complex transactions. But instead, he feels Murdoch used his charm and charisma to seduce a web of conspirators by the siren song of affluence to assist him in his thefts. To me, this again hints that there are more people involved. By saying a web of conspirators, if it were only Corey and Russell, it doesn't feel like a web. Judge Gurgel goes on to say that a law license is a license to do good. This is a demonstration of a darker law license, referring to Alex's abuse of his client privilege. And so it was, at 1111, Alex was sentenced to 480 months or 40 years, and said to owe $8,762,731.88 in restitution. The sentence runs concurrently, not consecutively, with state charges. Along with the sentence, Judge Gurgle added, I've never seen this type of conduct, a massive fraud, over many years. Absolutely, Judge Gurgle, let us hope that we never see it again. So, even if Alex is somehow able to overturn his murder convictions, he would serve his current state sentence and then transfer to federal prison for the remaining time, putting him well into his 90s when he would be able to walk a free man again. I hope his victims have some closure today. My heart is with all of them. Till next time, this is Cassidy O'Connell saying stay well and stay tuned.